Hello guys and uh, welcome to the video on order blocks okay and uh, in this video I'll review the indicator how it works and like what concepts I use to build it okay and if you want to get the code and code review and source code just proceed to the website okay so let's start guys uh, so first of all <clears throat> I'm going to start with identifying some down order blocks. So drop arrows down like this. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and I'm going to find a spot and we're just going to talk about it and then I'm going to speak about the algorithm of how to actually find this order block. Okay, so first of all, I, um, I watched and read a few articles on how to like define the order block and and there isn't really a, like <clears throat> a strict rule that and a strict pattern okay so let's say there has to be some sort of green bar okay and then there has to be a big drop after that okay a big drop and in that case or and and they're like you know times 100 variations of how this can happen because obviously this can be a green bar or this can be a red bar, or this can be a dodgy bar, or and then how do you actually define the order block? Is it this level, or is it this level, or are we going to use the high and low like that? So there are like <clears throat> millions of ways of identifying it, okay? And you can play around with that, but that's not the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is to actually try and build an algorithm that's going to spot this. So how how do we actually spot this where do we stand okay and <clears throat> basically there are a few approaches of how to do this and and here's the one i went for okay so what i said is first of all i want this to happen okay i want this high and we're talking about th these sort of order blocks okay i want this this low to be higher than the previous low Okay, that's step one. Okay, now step two, all right, so this is one. Now step two, if that has happened, I want to stand, this is bar zero, this is bar one. I want to stand on bar one and start doing this, looking at these bars, okay? Now, <clears throat> what do I want to see within these bars? I want to see that their lows, each one of their low is their lower low, okay? So I stand in bar one and I circle back. If this is higher than this, I'm happy. If this is a red bar, I'm also happy. If it's not a red bar or if this is lower, I'm not happy, I quit and I say this is not my game, okay? So I do this, okay? And I do this and this can break in, in two cases. So. If this is a red bar, oh, sorry, if this red bar is is green, I don't like it. That's it. I, I'm not happy with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to consider this drop, okay? So I'm going to quit that. <clears throat> or what we get is, let's draw another one here. I'm gonna, just going to, let's imagine there's one more, okay? And then, I don't know, there's like this sort of bar here. Okay, so we had something like that maybe happening, you know, ideally, okay? <clears throat> so, I stop at the point when I get a this pattern. So, I circle back and go, 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 go. And then, at some point, when this low is higher than this low, that's it, I stop. I stop and I take this spot here. And I take this spot here, sorry, this spot here, okay, and I measure the range, okay, and I say that, okay, I want the, the fall to be 0.5%. It depends on the, on the time frame. So basically, you see, this is set to 0.6% now, okay, and because that's set to 0.6%, this is, we take a ruler, so this is my start bar. Let me make this bigger. So this is my start bar. And this is my end. 
okay and as you can see this is well if we switch to percentages this is 1.17 percent drop i'm happy with that okay so so that's that's the deal okay i consider this to be a valid drop a valid drop so if i go ahead and turn on my draw blocks down you see it considered this to be a block okay and now i mean it's up to you how to trade this because there's a million of ways uh of going further but this is about the indicator but we can see that this level for example that has been formed here it stays gray it's gray now okay and I, we, we will see some of them missing, okay? It doesn't really identify um, all of them, okay? I'm not, because that's virtually impossible. Let's go and find that spot <coughs> why it turned gray. I think I lost it. It was this one, right? So it turned gray. Yeah, well, it turned gray right here after this was broken, okay? So let's have a look in, at another one. Uh... Maybe, I don't know. Where's a good one? Well, it's a pretty good one. A large one. Okay, so here's another drop. So here's the bar. If we measure this from here to here, is uh, not price. So that's 0.62%. I'm happy with that. So I mark this bar. This is the bar, zero, okay, and and this is our starting bar, okay, because you see on bar zero, this is a higher low than this one, we circle back, okay, and this, this guy has our first lower low, sorry, yeah, well, ooh, our first uh, higher low. Not higher. This is a higher low. This is a lower low, okay? On the other side. You see what I mean, right? So this was going up, and then uh, this started to go down. All right? <clears throat> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is actually... So here is the, the first lower high. So here's where we started, right? So it's this point here, zero, right? And then we go from here to here. This is higher. This is higher. And also this is higher. So... It's when when it reached this bar, it saw that this is now lower. So it was growing before it started to fall. Okay, and that's why it stopped right here and marked this bar. Okay. Okay, guys. So and obviously for the long side, it's just the other way around. Okay. And you could see, let's see some active levels. So for example. You can see here, it took off, okay, see here we start here and we end here, right? So if we measure to the other side, there's our ruler. So here's our start and here's our end. Obviously this is much bigger than 0.5%. Sorry about that. So that's 1.27%, okay? And we can see that, so here in this, for the high, it works the other way around. So it, it's looking at the highs now. <clears throat> okay, if we were looking at the lows, so you could see that mark this bar because this is the first uh, lower high, okay, after a higher high. Okay, so that's when we stopped. So we could see that's, uh, that's <clears throat> um, from here, right? Just a slight... Higher high, higher high, higher high, lower high. Okay, so that's when we stop and measure the, the, the shift. And if we look, I mean, it's a, it's a small difference. So this high is 1638. Well, in fact, this high is 1638. This high is 1638.07. So this is the start bar. Okay, this is the start bar. This high is just slightly higher. Okay, so when it identified this, <coughs> it... Um, so it assumes it was going down from here, okay? And 
went up. All right. Okay, guys, enjoy. Have a look at the code. It's 800 lines. It's a really cool algorithm to explore.